gosh, look, these mobs are disrupting law and order in Hong Kong. Do you guys know people's life is affected by you lots of rude kids? Yeah, hang on a minute. Do you know why they are coming out? I guess you wouldn't want to visit shopping malls that are all the same with only chain stores left. Or you couldn't find a store selling local delicacies such as Put Chai Co. Or only a shop sells fresh produce. Or you have to queue on the street for weeks to secure a place for your son to study. Or paying $50 for a day journey in the MTR. You wouldn't want to battle with mainland Chinese for Muc Formula and got hit by the suitcases. Or high rise being built on your back run, right? If your answer is yes, Allow me for a minute to explain to you why we are occupying streets. We have two core aims. The first one, we request a true democracy, a universal suffrage without unnecessary restriction, civic nomination. We are requesting the MPCSC to veto its previous decision. The second one, we request C. Y. Leung to step down. So why MPCSC should turn down its previous decision on universal suffrage? NPCSC, which is representing the Chinese government, decided in the future CE candidate must be approved. A nominating committee formed by only 1,200 people. Simply speaking, these 1,200 people controlled who will only be able to run. Oh, so they enjoy a privilege that we don't have. So how do they get selected to the committee? Could I choose? Oh, don't be silly. There are only 35 direct elected legislators you could choose. The rest, don't even think about it. Where's our right to nominate? Obviously, it is being taken away. You tell me if this is unfair for us. Hmm. Yeah, it does sound to me this is not fair. But as long as they are able to choose someone that could do his job as the CE, that's all right for me. Don't you agree? Certainly not. Most of the people in the committee are corrupted or bootlickers. They will follow whatever order given by the Chinese. If Chinese government decided to let Andy Lau or Michael Dare to run for CE, certainly there will be 600 committees saying yes. But no jokes. Chinese would ever allow Andy Lau to run. Your choices might limit to Lau Kong Wa or Ma Chao Feng Wa. Okay, perhaps Chao Feng Wa was handsome, but sure he will not be your choice. But in the mind of the nominating committee, they wouldn't care much. Your voice is not their concern. They are puppet of the Chinese. All right, fair enough. But there's no need to block in roads, right? You guys shall negotiate with the government instead. Who doesn't want to talk? The key problem is Hong Kong government had only consulted the public at the end of 2013. During the consultation, 130,000 responses and pop vote by 800,000 people clearly shown the wish of civic nomination. Various parties and organizations suggested a more democratic proposal. We all hoped the Chinese will listen to us. Unfortunately, they wish not to hear and finalize with a decision that is undemocratic. A dialogue? Don't be silly. Okay, you're talking about an undemocratic election. I understand that, but what's wrong with Xi Wai Long? Why ask him to resign? All right, people are calling him Six Eight Nine, but do you know why? It is simply because he was elected by Six Hundred Eighty Nine Election Committee, which they are hardly related to us at all. C. Y. Leung is the one who made the decision to suppress students with tear gas and pepper spray, and connive triads and various pro-government groups to attack and harass students. He simply wishes to suppress us with these barbaric actions to fight for a true democracy, and allow the Chinese to breach the joint declaration. If we speak nothing, do nothing, we Hong Konger will be losing our right and freedom in the future. No way! Are you serious? But I'm just a mother. There's nothing much I could do. Well, confronting the challenge is not only limited to students, solicitors, professors, teachers, doctors, nurses, trolley drivers, bus drivers, bricklayer, middle class, father, mother, granddad, grandma. People from all walks of life are supporting us. Join the umbrella revolution now if you don't want your freedom to be jeopardized. To fight for what we are promised by the Chinese, a true democracy.